Hello cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today we are doing our second Halloween makeup! What we are doing today is pretty much obvious. I know I have already prepared one Halloween makeup and this week I'm gonna be spookier because let's be honest, last time make the makeup was kinda glam and not that, you know, spooky. Yeah, we had the bats and the moon and all the good stuff, you know, but it wasn't spooky enough for me. So right now I'm going to put on some contact lenses off camera because I'm super bad at it and probably it will take me more than half an hour. Okay, I have put it on my contact lenses. I don't know if you can see, but they have tiny moons inside and they're so cute. Um, if you are interested, these lenses are from Baby Blue and we have a discount code, which is CatLady. It's gonna be around here and you can find everything at the description box. Okay, in order to save time, I started with my eyebrows and I'm waiting the gel to get dry and I have applied some eyeshadow base. Uh, for today's makeup, I'm gonna use mainly this palette from uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, The Iron. Uh, it's a very nice palette and I really love the layout and the, this fake leather. And secondly, I'm gonna use the same palette that I used last time, which is Vixen from VE Cosmetics. And I'm gonna open it and I wanna start with a very dark burgundy red which is this shade, I think the name is together because I want to create this um, vampy effect which um, it's gonna be black into red combined so I don't wanna start with a very very light red because we're not doing that uh, I'm gonna see how I'm uh, gonna blend that but yeah, I think this is a very very nice red And then I will go with black to see where we are and then apply again. I'm gonna take a big brush, this one, not huge, but yeah. And I'm going to use Fight, just the black shadow. Yeah, so that will be the blended. <laughs> And of course I'm going back and forth with them um, together and fight. Make sure that they are very nicely blended together. Okay. I'm stop talking now. And now you will see the rest of the procedure. Okay, the eyes are ready. Excuse me for the noise, uh, our neighbors are renovating, so if it is disturbing for you, I'm really sorry. Anyway, so now I'm ready to prepare my base. I have taken this palette right here and I'm gonna mix two products, these two. This one right here is my regular foundation, Bear With Me, from NYX, um, in the shade Soft Beige. And this one is an SFX white base, uh, both of them are not full coverage, so I feel that it's gonna be very very nice and I'm gonna create a lot of product mixture because I'm planning to bring it down until my chest here because I'm planning to wear something which is kinda open. Great, so I'm just mixing them. 
here and I will start applying it with my sponge here this is from uh, Real Techniques Now that I have made sure that I look completely dead, I'm gonna apply this powder, which is set it up from W7, to make sure that I have locked the result and it's not gonna go anywhere. I don't care if it's gonna be a little bit cakey, because I'm a vampire. My skin is not in a good condition anyway. Okay, now let's finish the under the eye area. For that, I'm gonna use again the shade together here. And then I will try to create some tiny, tiny black veins. So I'm gonna go with this brush that's from Morphe, a very small one to make sure that I will not be all over the place. You know, I'm gonna just make sure that I connect the upper part with this part right here and I had a very very hard time to decide if I want to go to the glam side or to the actual dead side so with I don't know with a little bit of sadness I decided to go for the dead side that means no glitter <sighs> No highlighter, but yeah, more makeup are coming and there we will have a lot more glitter, a lot more highlighter and this is a promise people. So there are two ways to go with the veins. One is to try to use gel highliner. <laughs> I, I don't feel very safe with that, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take a very tiny brush here and I'm gonna take the shade Fight again from Vixen palette and I'm gonna go as light handed as possible to draw here and there some tiny veins of course I'm making sure that I don't have you know, fallout or very intense parts So the eyes are done and now I'm ready to start doing my contouring. For this I'm gonna use this palette and from this palette I will use this shade right here which is called Tall Grey. I feel that until now this is the most convenient grey that I have found, especially for this type of makeup and contouring. Also I feel that something that might help me is doing that thing. And uh, you might see here, it's very easy to diffuse that because I already have a lot of powder so I don't have any sticky base, you know, so it's, it's very, very convenient. So I'm gonna add some here as well and there to make my face thinner basically 
thinner and looking, you know, sick. And that's pretty much my dead face. I have also applied mascara and I'm not going for anything, you know, very dramatic, like false lashes, because it's not the case now. Uh, now I'm gonna shape my lips and for that I'm gonna use again from NYX Sweat, the Copenhagen. And uh, I will combine it with the NYX, this one, metallic eyeliner in the black metal. Great. <laughs> so what I'm doing, just trying to have some color. Initially inside there, I'm gonna put black at the very end of leaves to make them look, you know, in even more worse condition. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love the lips. I'm gonna leave the lips like that. Maybe I will uh, blend a little bit with Copenhagen, the red one. For blood, I'm gonna use the SFX Fake Blood from Revolution Beauty. And I'm gonna apply an amount on my palette here. The thing is that it's not very dark red, but still workable. Not my favorite though. Like, I'm not sure if I recommend that, okay? I'm gonna take a very tiny brush, like this one. As I said, I don't like very much the shade, so I'm gonna add a little bit um, the burgundy, red or black right at the middle to make it look darker and more realistic because I don't feel that's the real color of blood. But anyway, I'm gonna take again from Vixen palette the shade Fight, which is a very nice black here. And I'm gonna just dip a little bit to put in the middle, make it look a little bit more realistic and a little bit more bloody. Uh, here I have some putty prime, no, 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 no so, sorry, sorry, putty, wax, and I will try to create some interesting things there. I'm taking an amount there and I'm taking in my hand to start give it some kind of shape. I'm going with some white powder to make these look white or white-ish. So I just wanted some kind of 3D effect on my body not gonna leave it like that i'm taking some uh, white body paint this thing and now it's a blending thing so you will give me some time to blend everything here and then i will be back finally i decided to do the blood off camera because i find it kind of tricky so i didn't want you to see all my back and forth moves until I find the correct, you know, amount of blood, the shading, all the stuff. But the idea is that I used black pencil in the middle to make it more realistic and black and to give depth. I will go with this color right here to go at the middle of the bites and make them more deep. I like the fact that they are not completely even because they are wounds. If I add something, you will see it at the photo shoot, aka at the next video, aka next week. For this reason, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure that you will see this makeup in the completed form. And the reason that I'm not showing to you right now is because I want to wear uh, my jewelry and my outfit to see where we are and then decide what extra it needs or I might leave it as it is. And now it's time for the word of the day. 
I don't know, I feel it's kind of weird to smile like that, but I'm excited, you know? So yeah, I will smile, I'm sorry. <laughs> so for today, I decided to tell you the word for ghost, because look at my skin. <laughs> yeah, so in Greek we say phantasma. Fa, da, sma. Say it with me. Phantasma. Fa, da, sma. Great! As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using this word or the other Halloween words that I have taught you until now. And yeah! And this was our video for today! I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something, that I gave you some ideas for Halloween. I feel that this is kinda easy makeup tutorial. A tip here, if you don't have fake blood, then you can buy some um, red berry syrup and then you can use that. It's not completely the same, but it gives a very similar effect and you might not need to use anything black to deepen it. Great! So, if you don't want to miss our last video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you want to see the photoshoot for today, you can follow me on Instagram. It's catladyandigoni and it's gonna be down here as always. Don't forget to write a comment, like this video if you actually like it, and see you next time! Bye bye!